our star of the week is Thorn Health Tech Inc. or T H R N on the Nasdaq, and the stock is up about thirty eight percent in the past month, uh, one hundred and seventy four percent year to date, and up one hundred and eighteen percent since we highlighted the stock as a monitor in our U S. under two billion market cap report or special report released uh, to clients in June of this year. So the stock is currently trading at about ten dollars and sixteen cents with a market cap of about five hundred and fifty million. And Thorn Health Tech develops solutions for personalized health and wellness and provides supplements to their customers. So the company breaks its operations into two segments. Number one, their direct-to-consumer segment, uh, which sells its products to consumers online through its uh, own website as well as Amazon. And then as well, their professional and business-to-business, where they have wholesale customers that include health professionals and retail stores through authorized resellers. So Thorne tries to differentiate themselves uh, from other supplement manufacturers by offering health tests, which then allows the company to cross sell Thorne's supplements. And in addition to tests and supplements, the company also produces OneDraw, uh, which is a blood collection device. And the product's goal is to have the blood draw experience with less pain while capturing high quality samples. And the company is expecting feedback from the FDA on its approval in Q3 uh, for unsupervised medical use. Um, But it has already received approval in Japan and the EU as of August this year. Now, The reason we wrote a report on the company for clients is because the business produced good growth in revenue and profitability, was doubling its manufacturing capacity with a new facility, uh, and traded with reasonable valuations with a forward price to adjusted earnings multiple of about 16 times and about nine times forward adjusted EBITDA. But we were slightly hesitant on the stock as earnings and cash flow have been quite volatile. And we were slightly concerned that the company wouldn't be able to achieve strong profitability due to its share compensation and expansion plans. Nonetheless, driving the increase is number one, the company's strong financial results from Q2 of 2023, where revenue growth or revenue was up 33% year over year. Uh, Gap diluted EPS was eight cents compared to a loss of 11 cents for the same quarter last year. And they also raised the midpoint of full year 2023 guidance uh, for net sales of 285 to 290 million, which is about an 11% increase from 2022. And they also raised their full year 2023 guidance range for adjusted EPS to be about 26 cents to 32 cents, which would be actually down to flat year over year. So this is essentially what led the stock higher to about the 80 or sorry, $8 range. But On August 28th, the company announced that it had entered into a definitive agreement to be acquired by uh, L. Catterton for $10.20 per share in cash and taken private, which was a 30% premium to the current share price. And the transaction is expected to be closed in Q4 of this year. So with health te- or with Thorn Health Tech's strong financial performance and recent takeover announcement, the stock has taken our coveted status of star of the week. And of course, I wanted to talk about this one on the podcast uh, because it was a stock which I pulled uh, out from our initial screening. Pat on the back, Brennan. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, we, we go through thousands of companies every year. So if we are highlighting a stock as a monitor in one of our larger comprehensive reports, it is likely a decent business with solid fundamentals. Uh, So, you know, I just wanted to highlight that. Just calm down, young man. Calm down. <laughs> language, Brennan. Language. Yes, um, I'll get uh, Brett, or Brett to, uh, to to beat that one for me, please, Brett. <laughs> uh, no, um, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, it, we, we pulled that out. Decent company. Um, one of the things, there is several public companies that are kind of in the supplements industry. Um, and, and one thing that it's, it's, it's really hard to gauge is the efficacy of the products over time. And it becomes a marketing uh, exactly. a, a marketing game. And it does look like Thorne's done a good job at that. I was at a local health store just over the weekend and I did notice that they had a bunch of Thorn products in there. So they're distributed. I mean, we, we know this, but they're distributed very widely and, and it's a company that has done a good job and clearly uh, somebody saw value in the business and uh, purchased it for a significant premium, yep. which is nice to see. 